Do you want to learn how to remap the keys on Aula F75? In this video, I'm going to help solve your problem. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and let's get to it. So first, in order to remap the keys on this keyboard, you need to install the software of Aula F75. So go to your browser and search for Aula F75, and then click on the second link, which is going to get you to this page. On the top, click on downloads and software. Search for Aula F75. Then inside this, click on this third one, which is driver. And then you can download this software version, which is Windows. They currently don't have a Mac OS version. So you need to download this from here. And once you have downloaded it and install it to your computer, you can open it up. I have it already installed on it. So I'm going to open this. And it has this Chinese interface. So my battery is currently very low, so I cannot access the RGB features on it. It's best if you keep the RGB off inside the software, but you can do so by going over here in the light effect and uh, switching to off, because this, this increases the battery time, battery life of this keyboard, and you can get around seven to eight days of battery life. With RGB on, I have found that this keyboard does not last for even a day. That's my experience. And if you keep the RGB on low brightness, it will last for at least four to five days. Now to remap it, go on the left hand side, click on this key assignment, this keyboard type icon and select a profile. You can also make another profile by clicking on this plus button. And on the right hand side, you can select any of these keys. So it's going to have this border, white border. So let's say I select the P key and on the bottom in the keyboard section, they have this multimedia mouse, keyboard, macro, commands, and key combination. So in keyboard, I can say space. So now when I press on P on my key keyboard, it's going to act as space key. So all you have to do is press on this, which is a floppy disk type icon, click on it. And now it's going to send the signal from the dongle to the keyboard and then it's going to act as the space key on your keyboard. Now you can do more key combinations here, commands, macro, multimedia, mouse, etc. You just need to click on this floppy disk icon and then it will register on the keyboard. Make sure that the keyboard is charged in order to send the signals from the dongle to your keyboard. Now you can see on your preview on the right hand side, if I hover on the P key, it says default P and current is space. And if I go for space, it will say default space, current is A. So if I press on uh, space, it's going to register the A key that way. And that's it. This is how to remap a key on Aula F75. Did this video help solve a problem? Let me know with a like and comment. And there are more tutorials on Aula F75 on the right hand side. You can check it out in the playlist. See you there.